If your car has recently lost acceleration power, the gas pedal feels heavy, or fuel consumption has increased abnormally. The culprit is often not the injectors or spark plugs, but a tiny sensor no bigger than two fingers. The mass airflow sensor. A dirty MAF sensor can rob your engine of up to 25% of its power and waste around 15% more fuel every time you fill up. The good news is that you can fix it yourself at home with just a $9 cleaning spray. Today, I will guide you step by step so your car regains its throttle response and fuel efficiency like when it was new. In this video, I will show you how to properly clean the MAF sensor without damaging its extremely sensitive wires. How to tell whether the sensor is just dirty or already failing so you do not waste money replacing the wrong part. And finally, I will reveal a few small secrets that professional mechanics rarely share. Yet they can help your engine stay healthier, respond faster, and save noticeably more fuel. Watch this video until the end, because just one wrong move while cleaning the MAF sensor can cause a loss of power or even trigger a check engine light right after. And I will help you avoid that. The MAF sensor, or mass airflow sensor, is like the electronic lungs of your car. It measures precisely how much air enters the engine every second, then sends that signal to the ECU, which is the central brain of the vehicle. Based on that data, the ECU calculates the exact amount of fuel to inject to achieve the ideal air-fuel ratio of 14.7 parts air to one part fuel. If the airflow reading is wrong, the ECU will inject too much or too little fuel. This causes loss of power, rough idle, or severe fuel waste. Inside the sensor are tiny metal wires called hot wires. When air passes through, it cools those wires. The sensor then calculates the airflow based on the change in temperature. The problem is that over time, dust, oil, or moisture from the air filter builds up on those wires. That makes the sensor send inaccurate data, causing the ECU to miscalculate the fuel mixture. The result is sluggish acceleration, rough idling, and higher fuel consumption than you think. By cleaning it correctly, you can restore accurate readings as if it just came from the factory, and your engine will breathe easier and run stronger right away. Before you think about cleaning or replacing it, you need to recognize the common symptoms that nearly 9 out of 10 cars show when the MAF sensor is dirty or sending wrong data, delayed throttle response, and weaker acceleration than usual. You press the gas pedal, but the car reacts slowly, as if someone is holding it back. Slight vibration at idle or when stopped at a red light. The RPM fluctuates up and down, a sign that the ECU is trying to guess the airflow. Noticeable increase in fuel consumption. When the sensor sends wrong signals, the ECU injects too much fuel. After just a few tanks, you will notice your wallet getting lighter. The check engine light turns on with codes P100 to P105. These are typical MAF sensor codes, especially those labeled as range or performance issues or low input errors. Loss of power when overtaking or climbing hills. During high power demand, the ECU relies on the MAF for fuel calculation. If the MAF reads incorrectly, the car instantly loses power. And the dangerous part is that the MAF sensor can give wrong readings without triggering any warning light. Many cars still seem to run smoothly while secretly wasting fuel and shortening the life of spark plugs, the catalytic converter, and even pistons. Only after cleaning or replacing it will you realize how smooth and responsive the engine feels, just like when it was new. Before starting to clean the MAF sensor, make sure to prepare properly. Here is what you must have if you do not want to turn a cleaning job into buying a new sensor. Required tools. Rubber gloves and safety glasses to avoid spray contact with your skin or eyes. A small screwdriver or an 8mm socket or T20 Torx bit, depending on the sensor screw type. A clean rag or dry paper towel to place under the working area. Most importantly, a dedicated MAF sensor cleaner. Make sure the label clearly says MAS Airflow Sensor Cleaner. Do not use WD-40. Do not use carb cleaner. Do not use brake cleaner. These sprays leave oily residue and damage the protective coating on the sensing wires, causing the sensor to fail within days. Extremely important notes. Do not touch the sensor wire with your fingers. Do not wipe it. Do not use a cotton swab. Inside the MAF is a platinum wire as thin as a strand of hair. If you touch it, it will break or change its resistance, and you will lose $200 to $400 for a new sensor. Always remove the sensor from the intake tube before spraying. Spraying while it is still installed can cause the cleaner to flow into the intake tract, 
leading to electrical short or triggering the check engine light. Make sure the engine is completely cool before you begin. Heat plus flammable solvent equals a fire hazard if you are careless. Do these preparation steps correctly, and you are already halfway through safely bringing your car back to its proper breathing rhythm. Now we begin the most important part, cleaning the MAF sensor correctly and safely. Follow each step slowly and carefully. Step 1. Locate the MAF sensor. Open the hood and trace the intake tube from the air filter to the throttle body. In the middle of that path, you will see a small sensor with an electrical connector and two retaining screws. That is the MAF sensor. Step 2. Disconnect power and remove the sensor. Unplug the electrical connector by gently pressing the plastic tab and pulling it straight out. Do not yank it because the MAF connector housing is easy to break. Use a screwdriver or an 8mm socket or a T20 Torx to remove the two mounting screws. Carefully pull the sensor out of the tube, avoiding dust falling in or the sensor hitting the intake wall. Place the sensor on a clean cloth with the electronic side facing up. Step 3. Spray clean the sensor correctly. Hold the MAF sensor cleaner can about 10 to 12 centimeters away, approximately 4 to 5 inches. Spray short bursts 10 to 15 times, rotating your angle so the cleaner reaches all of the hot wire area inside. Focus especially on the screen or sensing tip where the fine wire sits. If the sensor is very dirty, you can repeat a second round after letting it air dry for a few minutes. Absolutely do not do the following. Do not use compressed air or a heat gun or a hair dryer to dry it. Do not touch it. Do not wipe it with a cotton swab. Do not spray while the sensor is still installed on the vehicle. Step 4. Let it dry completely. Set the sensor in a dry, dust-free place and let it air dry for at least 20 to 30 minutes. The MAF cleaner solvent evaporates quickly, but you must ensure there is no remaining moisture before reassembly. Only when it is completely dry should you proceed to installation. After the sensor is fully dry, reinstall it correctly. Step 1. Refit the sensor to the intake tube. Gently insert the sensor back into its original position. There is usually an arrow on the sensor body indicating airflow direction. Make sure the arrow points toward the throttle body. If installed backward, the ECU will read the signal incorrectly and the engine will run unstable. Lightly tighten the two mounting screws. Do not over tighten. Reconnect the electrical connector until you hear a solid click. Step 2. Final checks before starting the engine. Make sure no tools, rags, or loose wires are left around the intake area. If you remove the air filter duct, ensure the clamp is tightened and there are no air leaks. Step 3. Start the engine and feel the difference. Now start the engine. You will notice an immediate change. Quieter running and a stable idle. Press the accelerator lightly and the response will be noticeably quicker and smoother. Some vehicles will clear a prior check engine light automatically after a few drive cycles. If not, you can use an OBD2 scanner to clear any old codes if present. After a few days of driving, you will notice two more things. Fuel consumption drops by about 5 to 15 percent. The car feels stronger and accelerates more easily, especially on hills or when overtaking. These are signs that the MAF sensor is again reading correctly and your engine is breathing properly like when it was new. Many people think cleaning the MAF is simply about removing dirt. In reality, it is about restoring the engine's breathing accuracy. The MAF sensor is the eyes of the ECU. In every combustion cycle, the ECU or engine control unit must know exactly how much air is entering the cylinders. If the MAF is dirty, it underreads, and the ECU injects too much fuel, creating a rich mixture. The result? The car feels sluggish, burns more fuel, and may even emit black smoke. Spark plugs, exhaust pipes, and the catalytic converter become coated with carbon. On the other hand, if the MAF reads incorrectly in the lean direction, the ECU injects too little fuel. This creates a lean mixture that causes rough idle, loss of power, and even pre-ignition or knocking. When cleaned, the MAF signal becomes accurate again. The platinum wires inside the MAF measure the airflow that cools the hot wire. Oil film, dust, or residue from oiled type air filters such as K and N stick to those wires and distort the reading. When cleaned with a dedicated MAF cleaner, the sensor can once again measure each gram of air per second precisely. This allows the ECU to maintain the perfect air fuel ratio of 14.7 to 1, which is the standard for modern gasoline engines. The result is restored throttle response and fuel efficiency. 
When you press the gas pedal, the ECU reacts faster and more accurately, giving the car stronger acceleration without lag. During steady driving, fuel injection becomes more stable, saving 5 to 15% on fuel. The oxygen sensors, spark plugs, and catalytic converter are also protected for the long term. You spend only 10 minutes and less than $10 for one can of MAF cleaner, but you save hundreds of dollars in fuel each year and extend your engine life by tens of thousands of miles. At this point, there is one thing you must understand clearly. Not every dirty MAF can be saved. In some cases, even after proper cleaning, the car still feels weak. That means the sensor is already failing signs that the MAF is dead or severely inaccurate. Unstable idle with large RPM fluctuations even after cleaning. Loss of power during acceleration, especially under sudden throttle. Unusual fuel consumption increase even though the spark plugs and air filter are new. Check engine light returns after a few dozen miles with common codes P100 to P105 or P171, P174 lean condition. Hard starting requiring throttle input or engine stalls when releasing the gas pedal. How to test quickly at home. Use an OBD2 scanner to check calculated load or MAF grams per second at idle. If the value is below 2 grams per second for a 4-cylinder engine or below 4 grams per second for a V6 or V8, the sensor may be weak. Or try unplugging the MAF connector while the engine is running. If the engine runs smoother, the MAF is almost certainly faulty or sending wrong signals. When to replace it? When the car has over 100,000 miles or the MAF shows corrosion, cracked housing, or broken connector pins. When cleaning twice does not improve performance, that is the time to replace it with an OEM brand such as Denso, Bosch, or Azen, and avoid cheap, low-quality units. Warning! Do not ignore a faulty MAF sensor. When it sends wrong readings, the ECU keeps injecting incorrect fuel, which can burn pistons, clog the catalytic converter, and waste large amounts of fuel. A few hundred dollar sensor can save your several thousand dollar engine. If you just cleaned your MAF sensor today, do not stop there. The throttle body might be the next reason your engine shakes or stumbles. Watch the next video, Throttle Body Cleaning Gone Wrong, Stop Before You Damage Your Engine, to avoid the common mistakes that cause throttle response loss. Thank you for watching.